What's up guys, DBK videos. I make military content, put it on the internet for you to enjoy if you want. And this is if you want to boost my ego. Social media in the links down below along with my second channel. Once we hit 1K, we're kind of close. Uh, giveaways on that channel. So, you know, I'll stop talking about that. The reason you came here is for the truth about Navy boot camp and how hard it is. Is it harder than Marine Corps boot camp? Is it harder than Air Force boot camp? What are the similarities? And basically just my opinion of going through it. First, we're gonna like straighten out the camera a little. So I went through boot camp back in 2014. I went immediately after high school. I was 18 years old. I'm 22 now to give you guys like a perspective of my opinion. The first couple nights, uh, you pretty much get on a plane or a bus, you go to Great Lakes, you go to in processing where they keep you up for 24 hours, yell at you, have you strip naked, buzz your head, etc. Kind of scary, kind of like a shell shock uh, place you're in, right? Like you've probably never experienced anything like that unless you kind of had like a stepdad growing up and he didn't really like you. And, but chances are that was a brand new experience for people and especially if you were sheltered your whole life and you've had like super, super nice parents, you've probably never had anyone just yell in your face. Luckily, my parents went through an ugly divorce where I got to be in the middle of it. <laughs> and in all seriousness, guys, um, I don't think boot camp's as hard as the people in depth think it is. Um, I actually think it's relatively easy, and that's no discredit saying, oh, boot camp's weak, boot camp's any of this. I'm just saying, um, some of the people that got through boot camp weren't the toughest. And if they got through, I'm sure you guys can get through. Some of the big things that you will face, separation, um, if you've never been away from home for long periods of time. I went back and forth living at my mom and dad's house, like custody stuff, so I, I was away from parents for you know decent amount of times. So anyway, I could deal with being away from home. If you're in a relationship, they're gonna cheat on you. Uh, third thing is, maybe not guys, you guys, don't freak out, don't freak out, maybe not, but that's another thing on your head. Um, babe, what, what else is another thing of boot camp? The physical uh, training, I guess, is hard if you're not athletic. There are some people who are strenuous on. I came from a wrestling background. I did cross country and track just as like an off season thing for wrestling, dabbled in football a little bit. And then I, you know, stopped growing past like five, six, and I stuck to wrestling. But I came from an athletic background, and when you think of boot camp, you just think of like this gnarly experience where you're just, you know, getting beat into the floor, and it wasn't the case. Like, we would get beat often, but they they can only beat you to your weakest link. Like, if, if some dude, like, passes out and pukes on the floor, you're obviously not getting beat past that. So... As long as you're not the weakest one, um, it's probably going to be easy for you. Like, coming from a dude, like, last time I did push-ups in two minutes, I got 91 push-ups two minutes. I don't remember having to do consecutively more than, like, 30 at a time while we're getting beat. So, even towards the end of getting beat, like, I was fine. I felt fine. Um, I'm sure majority of you will feel fine during the physical training. Um, mental training, the tests are relatively easy. You got to learn, like, naval history, Navy facts. Um, but they give you ample amount of time to study for it. Swim qual was easy. Like, I'm sure everyone else like myself grew up with a pool in their backyard and uh, worked as a lifeguard in high school. Um, so no problem with that for everyone. That's, that's checklist. I'm gonna get someone triggered in the comments. You privileged white. Even the drill instructors yelling in your face uh, wasn't extremely, extremely hard because you always know in the back of your head they can't hit you. And they're, they're paid to yell in their, your face. They're paid to do this. Do you think they actually are emotionally invested into you messing something up? Say you mess something in the logbook, right? You accidentally like lined where you shouldn't have lined in the logbook and someone, some chief starts yelling at you and chewing you out. You think that chief goes home to his wife and like cuts into a steak and then the girl's like, honey, what's wrong? He's like, oh, fucking seaman recruit Johnson missed a line in the logbook. I'm, I'm gonna fucking kill him tomorrow. They don't, they don't care. You know, like I worked, I worked as a corpsman at the hospital down the street from boot camp. Sometimes I'd interact with the recruits. When I was in the division, I would see them just chew out this recruit, send them away, and then just go back to talking. Oh, what's up, doc? Oh, you know, chilling, blah, blah, blah. Like, they're not emotionally invested into beating you. So if you're getting asked to, just take it. Don't start, like, crying about it and saying, oh, I can't do this, blah, 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 blah. They're, they'll probably get like this close. They're not gonna punch you. I guarantee they care way more about their career and keeping their career 
keeping their retirement pay that they're probably close to because a lot of drill instructors are chiefs who've been in a while then get one solid lick on a recruit they'll never see again probably the biggest thing for me was just the uh i wouldn't even say separation just like inability to talk to anyone i know so like a lot of it was just yeah you're making new friends and all that but on like month two you're just like damn like i'm i'm curious what's going on in the outside world like i want to you know, look at my Twitter feed or something. God, am I addicted to social media? I said I'm fine with not talking to my mother or father, but then like, I'm like, oh, what's on my Instagram? <laughs> I pretty much made this video to reassure you guys that it's not as hard as you probably think it is. And most likely, if you just don't quit, you're gonna pass through it. Your athletic ability, they'll get you there. Your mental ability, they'll get you there. Just go into boot camp. Literally, all you gotta do is show up and your RDCs will take care of the rest. They will train you to be what you have to be. You don't have to worry about knowing everything to begin with. You don't have to know about drill. Don't have to know anything. Or be physically, like super physically fit. You just show up. Your drill instructors will do the rest. Boot camp's easy. And I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Uh, my social media is down below if you're still thinking about boosting my uh, ego. So.